Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are interested in books by any means, then NetGalley is definitely a site that you need to know about. NetGalley, in its most basic terms, is essentially an online site for reviewers to leave reviews on books normally before their publication. NetGalley has been around for years and I've known it for as long as I've worked in the industry. Publishers use it to upload their titles, ePDFs, for reviewers to request to read in advance of its publication. People on it are bloggers, librarians, press, educators, anyone you can think of. So the way it works is publishers like I work at Abonia Books UK at the moment is we upload our titles on there. And by our titles I mean we put PDFs on there so it's going to be e-copies, it's never physical copies on NetGalley. We tell you all about what the book's like, then once you join NetGalley, you make an account, you can request that and say that you want to read this and you're interested in re reading in order to leave a review. That is the key thing to remember with NetGalley. The reason and the purpose for it is to leave reviews. It benefits you because you can get more books in future and it benefits the publishers because we can use those reviews. So the way it works from a publisher's point of view is we work on a subscription basis. So we pay like a yearly fee in order to host as a publisher on NetGalley. Uh, what this does mean is we have a limited number of titles however, so I think for us it's probably like 30 30 or 40 and that is the limit of how many we can have live at one time. It's free to join if you are a blogger and you're interested in reviewing books ahead of their publication so you can just make an account and sign up and start requesting. You can set an archive date for your book so this is when the title is no longer available to request on NetGalley. We normally do this on the publication date because essentially now that it's published we want you to go and actually buy the physical copy. So who do we normally say yes to? Who do we normally grant these requests to? I would say as a standard booksellers always yes, librarians always yes. Then the really important thing to notice is the ratio. Your ratio on NetGalley makes a huge difference in whether or not we decide to grant your request or not. I would say as a standard your feedback percentage needs to be above 80%. So you have two percentages that we look at. You have your approval percentage. This is how many times do you request a book and actually get approved for it? How many times are publishers accepting your requests? The second one is your feedback percentage. So after a publisher has accepted your request, how likely is it that you're going to leave a review? This is so important and I cannot stress it enough. If you are accepted a request on NetGalley, leave a review. Even if it's a couple of lines, leave that review. It will work in your favour so much. Because people like me will go on there, see that you've requested it, see that you've got like a 90% feedback rating and I'll be like, yeah, fabulous. That's really likely that you're going to leave us a review. So what do we actually do with these reviews? So in marketing, we can use these things for a couple of things. We can create quote cards. We can use this on social media and boost and say how much people are liking this book, even before it's out. If we want to add some quotes to the back cover, for example, we might use NetGalley reviews there. Another way that marketing use NetGalley is that if the people that weren't lucky enough to get accepted for their request, we then have all of your emails uh, and we can drop you an email and just say, hey, like, unfortunately you weren't uh, accepted for this. However, it's out now and you can buy it here. Another thing is eBlast. This is like a specific email sent to NetGalley users to say, this is our book, this is what we're going to be pushing. It's available to request on NetGalley here. That is a paid for thing, that's part of marketing. So marketing and publicity both use NetGalley. Finally, I'm going to tell you some tips. Like if you're a book reviewer, what do you need to know? Number one, create an account, it's free. Number two, only request titles that you are going to review. So only request to review. Only request to review. Only request a book if you're actually interested in it and you actually think you're going to read it very soon and then you're going to leave a review for us. Even if it's good, like, even if you think it's like three or four stars out of five, leave a review. It will work in your favour. Your percentage, your feedback percentage will go up to 100%. 100% basically means every book that you've been accepted for, you've left a review. As I said, you want to aim for like 80% or above. Like, if I see people who've got like 99% or 100%, I'm giving you that book because I know that you're going to do it for the right reasons. You're not just getting free books for the sake of it. And then another tip I would say is you get like a bio option and you can say all the genres you're interested and you can leave your links there as well. Leave all the links you have if I want to check out your profile see what kind of bookstagrammer you are see what your page about see how many followers you've got if you're likely to share it on social media link everything on there the more the merrier that's what NetGalley is it's a online review site sign up if you haven't already request our books if you haven't already hope you found this useful I've got more videos on working in marketing publicity and publishing so do check them out and hopefully see you in my next one bye